I'm about to show you one of my favorite programs inside of Facebook. This lets me organize all my content. It lets me upload content one time in big old batches. I'm about to show you Creator Studio. Hang on tight guys, cause here we go. Okay guys, we're gonna head into our page and then at the top of our page, you see some different options. The ad center, this is where you can go make ads, your inbox so you can see all the messages coming in and out and you can even see messages from, um, it, tell people that you're away, you can see messages from Facebook, messages from Instagram, you can see comments. Okay, that's all from the inbox, super stinking cool. Another place though that I love to go is to Creator Studio right up here. Crazy cool to see what you can do. Okay, so this is Creator Studio. I can choose to upload not one video, but let's say I have a batch of videos. Let's say I wanna have all of my, my um, videos that I've done that, let's say all my QV videos. These are all my tutorials that I've done. So I can grab all of these videos that are in here. I can do this one and this one and, and this one and this one. I could upload all of them at one time into Creator Studio in a big old batch. It makes it super convenient to upload content. If you wanna see me do that, we did that in a previous lesson, you can go there. You can choose to go live from inside of your Creator Studio. It lets you um, basically post from inside Creator. You get a lot of different options. I think my gut says that it gives you a little bit extra boost in the stream when you come from inside of Creator Studio. But that's my gut. It might be that I'm spending more time optimizing those posts. So that's still up for debate. Um, but here is Creative Studio and it's super powerful. It's powerful because you can see your content library. These are all of your posts that you've created in the past. You can see their status, if they're scheduled, if they're shared, if they're published. You can move in here to say, I want the ones who are in draft. I just wanna see all the posts that I've made in the past and I've never gone around to publishing. You can see guys that there's a lot of them that I'm like, I've put in here and I haven't done anything with. You can see um, posts that are scheduled and ready to go so you can make sure your calendar's good between all your, your people. You can see if it's been a cross posted. So you can see that this is a post that you've put up in the past and you're putting back out again to the world. You can, um, there's a lot you can do in here. I, I showed you in another video about filters. So you can choose to say what videos have been embedded. Um, I can see which videos um, I have allowed actions or unallowed actions. For example, let's say a post blew up and it went, got super crazy. I'm going to say this one right here. Oh, it's not live. Let's pick a Let's pick one that is actually scheduled so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's say, theoretically, this isn't, didn't really happen, but let's say this video right here got insane comments and um, it got brought out all the haters and it's, it's dis, being a destructive, horrible post. Let's say I've got tons of negative feedback and I want to turn off distribution of this post. So basically I can say I want to turn off commentary so that people don't comment while I'm live. I want to choose that it's not going to be embedded. I'm going to choose that none of these pages can share it. I can do a lot of different things inside of here. So um, we have so many tools from, from using um, Creator Studio. Another real important thing I want you guys to see is monetization. Um, we, we love monetization for the pages that that's appropriate for. So if you're a content manager creating lots of viral content, check out this section because if your videos are more than three minutes long, you're able to monetize a lot of them and optimizing where you put the ad, it can be super helpful. Okay, so this is helpful. You can choose the rights manager. This, I don't really have an issue with this because I'm not a viral page. But if you are creating a lot of viral videos, you'll notice that in this area right here, you can see who has a very similar video to yours and you can say, wait a second, they're copying my video or they're copying my music or they're copying something that's mine and you can request that they take it down. Another cool feature is the sound collection. You don't need to use Soundgarden or audio blocks or all the other places where I've gone to get video sound in the past. You can get sounds from Facebook that you're allowed to use right here. Um, Facebook gives us all the tools that we need. It's really kind of cool. I especially love the sound effects. I can come in here and I can literally pull up evil laughs or um, buildings and I can put these little sound effects into my content. I just need to download it right there 
And then you can see guys, there is download. I just downloaded a bunch of them. I can now use these in my content later. Kind of stinking cool. And I uh, hope this helps you see what's possible when you use the Creator Studio. It's right here. Love, um, love the, the effects that this has on my content. Talk to you guys soon.